Hello everyone. Um, it is Sunday the 4th of June. Um, I went to two boot sales today, one in the morning, one in the uh, the afternoon. Um, yeah, it was okay. I got a couple of items which I think are pretty good. Um, a few just regulars. Um, yeah, so uh, this video is going to show you the morning one which was West Ashton. Um, I hope the footage is alright, I have not had a chance to check it yet, um, so I'm hoping the footage comes up in a second, um, if not you'll probably see me saying sorry, um, so yeah, uh, I'll show you the footage now. How much are your football boots and shoes and stuff? Um, my three quid a pair, it might be enough where I do not want to take anything home. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Oh no. <laughs> <coughs> Do two? Yeah. Yeah. Cheers. How much is your little camera? Uh, okay, how much do you want to sell the camera for? How much do you want to sell the camera for? Do five? That's the film for, is it? Yeah. Yeah. Lovely. How much is your radio? It just needs batteries. It's actually unpowered, but I don't have the leads, it's just the batteries. Is it a DAV on you? I actually couldn't tell you, unfortunately. Do three? It tunes. Do three? Four. Can't get down to three already. Yeah, go on. <laughs> Lovely, thank you so Lovely. much. Lovely. How much is your soundbar? The soundbar, how much did you say, my mum? A fiver. Has it got the remote? Don't ask me, that's a blue job, <laughs> not a pink job. <laughs> 
it's everything is there right now. Oh yeah, there is. Yeah. Oh yeah, so it's very specific. Yeah, it's a bit sandbar. And the CD player? Uh, three pounds. <laughs> How much are the skates? Like four pounds. Do a tenner for the skates, the CD player and nothing? No. Too early. <laughs> Too early. Yeah. Then my son, then my husband. No, I'll stick to the prices at this time in the morning. All right, you. I can do that. Four, three, five. Oh, who's the other day? Yeah. No. <laughs> <laughs> Lovely, thank you. Wonderful, thank you. Lovely. How much is your projector? Uh, five quid for that. Yeah, we used it once in the office and then COVID hit and didn't <laughs> need it again, so. You don't know how much. I was just looking. And how much did you ask for Tom Tom? How much do you think? For I'm not sure. No. Uh, how much are your cameras? Um, that one's ten. This one's ten. Yeah. <laughs> and the fine picks. Uh, ten as well. Do fifteen for the pair. Uh, 
Oh. How much is that one, do you think, then? <laughs> it's up to you, you okay. decide. Okay, yeah. Yeah. Yes. Compartment. Yeah, it seems alright. No, trust yeah. me, he couldn't yeah. make any money. The only money we can make is selling it. How much is How much is little tablet? Um, I have no idea. It's, it's a Kindle. Yeah. Um, it works as far as I know. Screen's a little bit messy. What would you uh, What would you want to give for it? I don't know. On the other end, you not know, that I'm aware of. We've got mobile phones in. Five. Uh, least mobile phones. Mobile phones here. It um, works well. It's just got a thin crack along the screen there. It's a Moto G8 Lite. I think. We can do three. Three, yeah. Same. Yeah. Yeah, I packed you your stuff yesterday and charged it. Yeah, uh, G8, I think. Three. Oh, plenty of Thank you. Thank you. I can't, I've run out, I need sellotape. I remember, I think I packed some. <laughs> How much is the uh, trail camera? You don't have to put it in the box. It'd work it out. Uh, <laughs> a puzzle. Okay, how much for that? Oh, they, that's brand new, that, isn't it? So, would you give us 10 for it, boss? Brand new? It is. Thank you very much. Thanks, sir. Mm. I think so. Well, I reckon so. Do a fiver? I'll do a fiver, go on. Yeah. And the thermostat? Sorry? How much is the thermostat? Oh, the thermostat. Um, oh, the, uh, uh, yeah, yeah, it's, it's not, it's not number. 210. Yeah, no, no. I think <laughs> yeah, not, not paying with that many zeros. No, no, no. <laughs> 
Well, I don't need one, so I hope we don't get going. Yeah. So that's new, isn't it? Yeah. Okay, go. Bloody hell. Do a tenner for the booth. God's sake. Yeah, go on then. All right. This is not my stuff, this man. My, my brother in law died a few weeks ago. Yeah, right. Clear that his garage. Some mm. this, this chap's looking for. Uh, thank you very much. How much should we say? Uh, 10. Lovely. Thank you. How much is your camera? Two pound. Yeah, I can do that. Finding recently, the better the weather, the less people there are at the boot sales. A um, couple of weeks ago, when it was a bit more cloudy, the boot the, the boot sale was full by seven o'clock, maybe quarter past. Today, it was two thirds full uh, by about quarter to eight, eight o'clock. So yeah, big difference. Um, I still managed to get some stuff, but. Um, it wasn't as good as what I thought, and I actually found the same on the second boots on Marksbury this afternoon. So um, let's flip you around, I'll show you what I got, and um, how much I paid for it, and how much I'm going to ask for it, if I remember. So yeah, um, first off we have these uh, inline skates. Um, I didn't notice at the time, I looked at the wheels on this one, and they're fine, but on this one they're a bit more sort of slanted. Paid £4 for them, so I should be able to get something from I had a quick look at them, I can't find them on my initial search, so I, is, they're going to take a little bit more... A little bit more looking. Um, they do look pretty good. Vicious. Is that a viper? Are they vipers? I don't know. Um, either way, four pound paid. I'm not sure. If for now we just say twenty five. Um, if they're more, then great. If they're less, I don't think I'm going to lose my money on them. They should be. They should be easy sellers, no matter what. Um, up here we have a Apeman. Um, projector LC350. Um, bloke said it's been used once, and I actually believe him. Um, I had a quick look inside, and it does look pretty, pretty good in there. Um, I paid a fiver. Yeah, I paid a fiver for this one. Um, looks like well, brand new. He went for fifty-two, and I haven't got a brand new. Open never used thirty-five. Um, I'm probably going to try around the 30 to 35 pound mark. Uh, the more recent ones have been a little bit slower. Uh, that one is severely underpriced, I think. Um, but that one went 24 pound with five bits. I reckon I'm going to try 35. Uh, let's have a quick look to see if there's any bidding, bidding, new other, new, new. These are all from the United States. I tell you what, it's annoying me lately. Everything is showing up worldwide. Um, yeah, I'm probably just going to try like 35, 39, 99, something like that. And I reckon I'll be able to get that all day long on that one. Um, next up, what have we got? We got, ah, that one's a pretty good one. Um, same stall. I bought two items, bought a trail, a trail camera and, uh, the thermostat. Now I was a little bit short with this guy. Um, 
Oh, on the way back, my camera battery had run out, so I was going back to the car to change batteries and empty the trolley, and then I came across this stall. Um, when the battery was dead, I'd come across something else. Um, a hi-fi, I think it was. Was it a hi-fi or radio? Something like that. And I got told, oh yeah, that's brand new. And as soon as I looked in, you could see it wasn't new. And it annoys me when that happens. It really is a pet peeve of mine. Um, and on the trail camera, he said it was brand new. And I had a look inside. It's not brand new. Um, and I, I said as much. I said, it's, you know, I can't remember exactly what I said. It's, it's just, it was one of those, yeah, that's not new. Um, and I felt a little bit short with him. Um, and then afterwards, his story that he's selling off all, his brother's died recently and he's selling off all what was in the garage, made me feel a little bit bad because he obviously has no clue. Um, I mean, on one hand, if he doesn't have a clue, he shouldn't really be saying the condition of items. Uh, but on the other hand, I do, you know, I do feel sorry. And uh, I, I am, you know, I'm now looking back apologetic for what I said. Or not what I said, but how I said it. Um, it could have been worded a little bit differently or I could have just you know, let it go, basically. Um, either way, this Horseman thermostats, thermostats are really good to buy. Um, I've noticed not many people seem to buy them, but they are really good to buy. Now, quick look on that one. It looks new. I'm not 100% sure. So I think it's new on that Horseman. Um, it's the C-Stat 17-ZW. It looks like they sell for 70 to 85 for brand new ones if it is new if it's second hand then we'll adjust the price accordingly but yeah so that's not too bad um the pure evoke here has a dab radio uh, it's the pure evoke 2 s i think um if he's all working i gotta try him out and everything he's i'll put the batteries in him because he doesn't have the um uh the oh no this is just one with a kettle lead power supply. That's why I bought it. It's just, it's just, ke uh, just not a kettle lead, figure eight power lead. So that, that was actually pretty easy. I can supply one of them. Um, needs a bit of a clean up. Uh, if he's working fine, um, it looks like about 20 quid roughly. Uh, although that is only an Evoke 2. This is an Evoke 2S. Whether that makes a difference, I don't know. I'm going to have to have a closer look um, because what I'm doing this is just a very quick type in the item have a quick look for something similar and that's the prices um when i actually go to list i do a lot more research into things um i think i paid four i think i paid four for him um next up this one was a bit of a shock actually uh the fujifilm instax mini 9 with some film very very nice in there like a really clean camera um i don't know if you'd seen it on camera when i took it out but very clean looking um looks like they go for about 50 plus uh that was brand new 79.99 but yeah it looks like it goes for about 50 ish 50 60 um with the with the film i'll ask up a little bit or i might sell the film separate i haven't actually looked up the film so um yeah I was quite shocked at that I paid a fiver uh, they wanted eight Did they want eight yeah they wanted eight and i paid a fiver for it so yeah, I was expecting 2030. Um, wasn't expecting that much. And the only reason I bought it was because of the, the film. So that was quite nice. Uh, next up, we have an Ape Man uh, H70. It's funny, when I picked this up and I looked at it, I thought to myself, I swear I've heard of Ape Man um, before. And I had, just probably about half an hour before. That one's Ape Man, that one's Ape Man. Uh, H70 trail camera. It's not brand new. Um, the brand new ones go for about 80. Um, so if he's working, I'm probably going to... Uh, it's difficult. I'm probably going to try and charge around... Depends how much I can clean him up. 40 to 50, maybe a bit more. Um, not seeing any pre-owned ones, which is a little worrying on... Oh, no, there's pre-owned stuff, but different numbers. Um I don't know, 40 to 50, if he's, well, he is used, so 40 to 50, I reckon. Um, next up, we've got some Nike Mercurials. Uh, I think I paid two or three pound for these. Standard pickup there. Nike Mercurial Victory 4s, uh, I think Brazil, Brazil colors or something? Not sure. Um, 
standard pickup they go for about 20 25 usually it's you know quick and easy to clean up and then just you know sell them on um no problems usually uh next up we have two cameras i was actually a little bit annoyed uh at this store because uh there was a guy there who was he's done it a couple of times before from what i've heard he'll go to the stalls and he'll give ebay prices to people when he thinks they're charging too low prices um but funnily enough, I don't expect he does it for the things which he buys to resell. Um, so it's it's kind of a bit of a bit of a dick move in my mind. Um, but it is the way it is. So these cameras, I expect I paid up a bit. I paid fifteen pound for the two of them. I will definitely still make money because they both look clean. Um, I've had a Hitachi one recently, which didn't work at all for some reason. There was no outward signs of why, but it just didn't work. So I'm hoping this one breaks the trend. Uh, the Hitachi goes for. Anywhere, uh, anywhere between 30 and 45 it looks like, plus shipping. And the Fujifilm S5800 goes for, I'm gonna try for the 30-ish. Um, he looks pretty clean, so yeah, shouldn't be too much of a problem. Uh, the Samsung here, I am not sure what I paid for him. Um, I think he, yeah, he powered on. So he seems pretty nice. Um, okay, so I'm not sure. Looks like 20 for that one. That one got 20 pounds, but faulty. So I'm probably gonna try for this sort of price, 30-ish, I think is probably gonna be where I'm at. Um, the Panasonic soundbar. Um, I'm, I've stepped away a bit from soundbars. The real reason I went for this one, because it's boxed and it's easy to scent like that because it is boxed um i paid i paid a five for him i paid a five for the sandbar um and it looks like they go for about 30 plus shipping um nothing special you know just hopefully a quick and easy flip um it's a smaller sandbar as well it's not like a full full-sized one so yeah that's probably where i'm at on that one um, what we got down here? Uh, Amazon Kindle Fire. This is a Fire 7 9th Gen. Um, £3? £2? £3? Maybe? £5? No. £3? Hello. Um, yeah. Uh, I need to charge him up, obviously. If he is working, I'll probably... Uh, it's going to depend whether he's uh, 8 or 16 gig. Um, if he's a 16 gig, it's 35. If he's an 8 gig, he's about 25. So either way, I should make money. Um, and then we got here a Panasonic uh, SLS118. Um, looks pretty nice. Uh, first thing you always check with these ones is the battery compartment. Always check the battery compartment. And this one looks... Let's, uh, let's not break that. Um, this one looks pretty clean. Um, so yeah, I gotta check obviously to make sure he's working, but he does look pretty nice inside. Uh, I can't remember, a couple of pound? Maybe three, four, five, less than five. I know it's less than five, that's all I know. <laughs> And they go for, it looks like 25 to 30. So he's a nice clean model. So uh, if he's fully working, it'll probably be 25 plus shipping on that one. And uh, yeah, should get that all day long. So yeah. Um, at the moment I am sorting out my cameras and my God, I've got a lot. Uh, camcorders galore. Uh, a lot of money in there, but um, yeah, so that's taken some time. So I'm going to try and find stuff here, which is going to be quick and easy to list. And get that on quickly. And then put the rest aside, as I seem to be doing recently. Um, I did do a load of photographing yesterday and testing and everything. Um, but as quickly as I'm clearing it, as quickly as I'm bringing it back in, I mean, it's, it's not a... Not a bad problem to have. I mean, I'm selling stuff quite nicely. It's it's not too bad. I mean, this is going to be quieter for me, and it's actually it's okay. It's not quite to the level of what I was, but then again, my listings. I don't think I'm nowhere near how many listings I had before. 
352. I was uh, 500 plus before. Um, but yeah, things are going pretty all right. So, yeah. Um, anyway, uh, do, 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 do. I think that's it. Like, comment, subscribe, all the good stuff. Um, I've got an Instagram, which is going to be coming up here. Um, on there, I show, you know, different things. Uh, I think I've even got a picking, not a picking video, a what sold video on there as well. Um, and things like this you would see most likely on the day in which I film. Uh, because in fact, when I put this camera down, I'll take a picture of this and put it up onto uh, onto Instagram straight away. So if you want to see things in advance, then yeah, um, go on there. Uh, any questions or anything, put them in the comment section here or on Instagram, ask me a question there uh, and I'll do my best to answer them. Um, yeah, and that's, that's about it. So thanks a lot guys, catch you in the next one.